This is a woman named Christian Freeland. And um, she was, now this is from, <clears throat> is this from Davos? Where did we get this? It's from the, she's speaking at the WEF. Oh, yeah. Play. <laughs> Uh, World Economic Forum hem I like this. World Economic Forum hemorrhoid, <laughs> Christia Freeland. Hey, by the way, hey, Christia. First of all, great name. <laughs> Sounds like a bacterial infection. I, I, oh, I got you, do you have Christia? I have cystic Christia. Do you have cystic Christia? <laughs> have you tried Lotrimin? <laughs> How about some gynolotrimin? <laughs> have you tried Christia for Lotrimin? Uh so here, here, listen to this. Uh, by the way, she's the deputy prime minister of Canada, eh? Really? Yeah. Oh, this should be. I've, I, I already watched it, but I, it really upsets me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what he said when I talked to him about what's going on in the American middle class. We demand a higher paycheck than the rest of the world. So if you're going to demand 10 times the paycheck, you need to deliver 10 times the value. It sounds harsh, but maybe people in the middle class need to decide to take a pay cut. Again, not untrue if you're looking at the dynamics of the global economy, but politically and socially, a very difficult thing. She said not untrue? Yeah, not as difficult as uh, dipping into the top part of the... <laughs> of the so she's saying... She's saying... Because it's a hard because truth. now neoliberal capitalism, capitalism has gone to every part of the globe and exploited every poor people. Even the poor people are now rounding, <laughs> getting together to raise their own wages. And so now they're now this what they want to do is lower everybody's wages at once. Right. If you got to remain competitive, so that what that not not raise their wages. Right. Obviously, because that could cost the top 1%, maybe 2% of their 90% of the world's wealth. And that's basically communism, Kurt. Yeah. If you think globally. Actually, I take it back. The name uh, Christia sounds like a prescription drug that helps numb feelings about the wealth and equality. <laughs> What about what about the people who get paid 160 times more than the rest of the world? What about them? The middle class is making too much money, yeah. she's saying. But what about the 160 fucking people who run everything? <laughs> who there's two people who have more wealth than like 50% of the world. Yeah. What 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 value do they add exactly, Christia, besides giving their kids great names like Christia? <laughs> Uh, by the way, uh, warning, a uh, small percentage of patients treated with Christia may encounter <laughs> minor side effects, <laughs> such as swab face, <laughs> constant queefing, mm. shit livery, elevated tweet pressure, <laughs> authoritinitis, <laughs> legible Epstein flight listings, <laughs> and Larry Summers balls. <laughs> <laughs> if you experience one or more of these symptoms, immediately ask for more censorship. I think I suffer from shit lib. Let me play that again. And this is what he said when I talked to him about what's going on in the American middle class. We demand a higher paycheck than the rest of the world. So if you're going to demand 10 times the paycheck, you need to deliver 10 times the value. And then, by the way, uh, I don't know if that's true, if the American middle class demands 10 times the paycheck. But of the I know we, countries. That's right. But I know that we don't get health care in America. We all have to pay for that out of our pocket. Right. And that's... Uh, we, and we pay double that we the don't rest get ten times the value. That's right. And yeah. for the and for the we pay twice as much for health care as the rest of the world and get yeah. worse health care for it. So that costs a lot. And plus we let foreign investments in our country. That's why real estate in Los Angeles and New York is ten times what it should be because Chinese billionaires buy up all the property and it sits empty and it artificially raises prices. And why is that? That's because local developers control city councils. It's called adding value, Jimmy. <laughs> well, what does she think about how much the CEOs have skyrocketed? According That's exactly what I said. Well, again, one, this is 1,460% since 1978. One wow, that's way off of my 160 that's, that's, times. That's Economic <laughs> that's Policy Institute, off. by the way. 
And this is what he said when I talked to him about what's going on in the American middle class. We demand a higher paycheck than the rest of the world. So if you're going to demand 10 times the paycheck, you need to deliver 10 times the value. It sounds harsh, but maybe people in the middle class need to decide to take a pay cut. You said this to her? I don't know who that is she's talking about. I'm going to guess Justin Trudeau. I guess, yeah. <laughs> again, not again. untrue. If you're- again, again, not untrue. Not untrue that the middle class has to take a pay cut. Again, again. I don't know why the deputy prime minister of Canada again. is allowed to speak. Anyway, <laughs> again, right, again, I shouldn't know her name. Again, she's going to use, uh, she's going to use international economics as a weapon. Is it, no, that's New Zealand. <laughs> no, that's New Zealand. Was, wait, is it Christia or Chistia? It's it's. I is it Chistia? I've Look always, at that. I've always heard it pronounced Christia. Is it, maybe it's Christia? It, oh, did somebody just misspell? How, what do they say in the chat? How to pronounce it's Chistia? Get get one of those maple leaves. Ask them. Mm-hmm. My God. Um. No, it's not a medicine. That again, is. again. But she says again. Not wait, Look, let's, let's hear what she not, says. Not, again. Not untrue. Not untrue. The middle class does have to take a pay cut. But if you're looking at the dynamics of the global economy, but politically and socially a very difficult. But we're going to it's going to be tough for us to impose this on most of the people. Yeah, we only vote in That's the local thing, not the global yeah. economy. I don't know if you know this. It's kind of weird to <laughs> have everybody under this. The gap between productivity and typical <sighs> workers' compensation has increased dramatically since 1979. The gap. So what I like to say is workers haven't had a raise since 1980, because I think I heard Michael Parente say that once about how wages ha- haven't ca- caught up. So usually, before 1980, which is when Ronald Reagan got it, that w- when productivity went up, Wages went up, mm. so, so the people who generated the pro- the profits got to share in the greater profits. Right. That's not anymore. See where it stopped? Yeah, the wage thigh gap happened, and now they're not <laughs> rubbing where... together and chafing like they were. So there it is. Right. I, so I was right. Nineteen eighty. So it used to it yeah. used to be very closely correlated when production went oh, up. Is that so when you started shipping it out to other places? When yes, they get paid? that is right. Oh, so they they put a tax incentive for corporations to offshore American jobs. Not only did oh. you get to ruin Americans that take cut the legs off from underneath labor in America and ship good paying jobs, turn them into shitty paying jobs, and then ship them to China. To, uh, but you also uh, got a tax break to do so. It's sunrise in America. You can't. Yeah, <laughs> that was what Ronald Reagan called sunrise in America. And then right up until see that, and then boom. So product. So so workers kept making more productivity, but they didn't. Wow, make America gape again, <laughs> right? And so, and when, when people tell you we don't need unions, that's I mean that's a proof who you do. Well, the that line right there, who I choose to ally with, we don't need them. That's right. <laughs> the important people <laughs> that will take ten times more. Thank you. All this tells me is if you pay them less, they're going to work harder. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? That's day one of class at Prager University. You went to Prager U? Prager U online? Sure. Dave Rubin got me a discount. <laughs> uh, you graduate, they give you a cigar. So you can, here's the other interview. So they got cigars, like a couple of bloated plutocrats. Uh Anyway, here we go. Wages for the top 1% skyrocketed 160% since 1979, while the share of wages for the bottom 90% shrunk. Well, that just means it's working. (laughs) The top 1% of Americans have taken 50 trillion from the bottom 90%, and that's made the U.S. less secure. Really? That's weird. I thought we just funded entire new departments of police. (laughs) Plus, we're fighting Russia over there, so we don't have to fight them over here. What's what's not secure? Yeah, it sounds like we got it tied right up. How can we be? What's not? We're super secure. Hey, the top 1% officially have more money than the whole middle class. But the middle class need to take a pay cut. Kurt, you know that. Yeah. Wait, is that him? Is he the 1%? <laughs> That's the, the guy. The top 1% is that guy? And, and he has more money than the bottom 90? If that's true, shouldn't he have a better haircut? Yeah, it looks like uh, he works there and snuck onto the right? croquet course. 
and pre- is pre- he looks like he's posing as a rich guy to impress these chicks. That's on exactly the what he looks like. Central casting, semi yeah. or rich douchebag looking guy. Yeah, and Rod- Rodney Dangerfield comes in at some point. Maybe he, just, maybe oh, that's a, maybe that was a guy. He was an adjunct professor at Trump University. <laughs> <laughs> that's who that guy was. Uh. Congress approved $113 billion of aid to Ukraine. Well, I'd like to see a Ukraine productivity and money <laughs> yes. scale, huh? The CARES Act sent you a $1,200 check, but gave millionaires and billionaires far more. What? You don't want to reward success? <laughs> it's why we gave Zelensky an Oscar. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, well, <clears throat> I think... Uh, I think Chlamydia Freeland is right <laughs> when she says <laughs> that uh, the middle class, they, and they, it is true, they do need to take a pay cut, right? You a? Know, but I don't know if they'll, they might revolt. <laughs> I'd like to know who Vice Minister uh, Chistic Vibrosis was speaking to <laughs> about this. Was it Larry Summers Balls? <laughs> was it Larry Summers Balls? Okay. It sounds like something Larry Summer would say. <laughs> Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, Tempe, Arizona, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, and a lot more places. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets and become a premium member while you're there. You get access to all of our stuff. See you then.